G'day everyone and welcome to another Star Wars review. Next up for you today I'm going to give you a look at this vehicle. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Also called Darth Vader's TIE Advanced X1. Really nice looking vehicle. First thing that struck me about this when I got it out of the box and put it together was just how it was quite bigger than I thought it was going to be. Really impressive size. Great looking vehicle. Let's quickly give you a look at the box that it came in. That's it in here. It's part of the Saga collection from 2006. Um, sold out pretty quickly this one. So you'll have um, a bit of a hard time chasing one of these down. Of course, you can find them on eBay. Um, this vehicle's got a couple of um, features to it. Firstly, is the firing rockets there, firing missiles, just by the buttons here, here and here. Also, if you look underneath, um, this slides up and down, back and forwards, and you can see those cannons, guns, coming out there at the front of the ship. Looks pretty good. Uh, also, it's got an opening cockpit hatch. It's got a Darth Vader Evolutions in there. Um, when you get this vehicle, it just comes in three parts. Both of the wings come off. And you just slot the wings in. Um, one thing that I do have a bit of a complaint about with this vehicle is the um, actual cockpit and the body of the ship. It's really well detailed and I like the colour. But if uh, you look closely, you'll notice that the hatch of the cockpit is a different colour from the rest of the vehicle. And I'm sure that's just like a factory error. It's just an oversight from Hasbro. If you look at the wings, they're the same colour as the hatch. And really, I think it all should have been this one colour here. It's not that noticeable until someone really points it out to you, because I actually didn't really notice it at first. But now that I sort of am aware that it is different, it kind of stands out quite a bit. So that's, you know, a bit of a shame. But it's not so bad, I guess. But it's definitely going to have to lose some marks out of 10. Um, I'm going to give this one 8.5 out of 10. I still really like it and I want to get um, a couple of TIE Fighters to sit behind it and, and then also an X-Wing set up a bit of a trench run scene from Episode 4. I don't know if you can see, but the window is really clear and um, you can really see the figure inside really good on this ship. not sure if you can see it though on the camera. So yeah, I still recommend this ship. Uh, it's just a little disappointing, the, the colour difference. But apart from that, it's, a, it's spot on. It's really nice. So anyway, I hope you've liked looking at this vehicle. And I'll be back to do some more reviews as soon as I can. So until then, may the force be with you.